Hello, and welcome to another ODE Solenoid Valves video. My name is Andrew, and today I'll show you how to perform a repair on a 21W series valve. This is a very easy procedure. The first thing you notice is that there's an arrow on the top plate on the ODE emblem. This arrow shows the direction of flow through the inlet. You can also see this arrow at the bottom plate as well. When you remove the plates and put them back on, please ensure the arrows all point in the same direction. I've already loosened the screws to speed things up. Once the screws are off, you can lift the top plate off slowly. I've also loosened up the magnetic kit here. So first we're going to replace the diaphragm. Make sure there are no dents on the top plate when you're taking it off. You can put your finger through the port inside and push upwards to remove the diaphragm. Afterwards, you can simply put the new diaphragm into the valve. Notice how the previous diaphragm was Viton and this is EPDM. Very often, the Viton color is green as opposed to the EPDM color being black. To verify, you can see the engraving. For example, this one has E for EPDM. You can put that back and ensure a snug fit. Remember to replace the O-ring as well at the bottom and at the top. Now, this has been converted to EPDM from Viton. Slowly put back the top plate and put the bolts back in. Afterwards, you can remove the magnetic kit and simply replace the plunger to EPDM as well. Make sure everything is twisted tightly, however not overly too tight. Again, this valve can be converted from Viton to EPDM to Buna to HNBR and Teflon sealing materials. This is the beauty of ODE valves as it provides tremendous versatility. As you can see on the side, this valve was originally equipped with Viton materials as it is engraved on the body. In this video example, we converted it from Viton to EPDM. Thanks so much for watching another video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at sales at odevalve.com.